Muhammad has changed over the years. We have actually become good friends and we do text and talk on a regular basis. Oh boy, here we go again. You just can't make this up. Despite everything that Mohammed put her through, Danielle is prepared to put her relationship with her kids at risk because of her continued friendship with Mohammed. I'm nervous about telling them. I'm hoping they understand it from my point of view. Tell him. If he tries to talk to me, I don't know what I will do. Now, as I'm sure you remember, their marriage and their subsequent divorce was probably one of the worst in 90 day history. You may kiss your bride. I'm not allowed to kiss in this uh, time. There was trips that he would take and pictures of him with other women. You're a user, Mohammed. You used me. This whole relationship, and in particular the things that Mohammed said about her, really impacted Danielle's self-confidence. Nobody will have sex with someone like you. <gasps> that she has a problem that she needs to see a doctor. And when we last saw her on The Single Life, we saw just how difficult it was for Danielle to move on and start dating new people. I need a minute, because this is going to be hard. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> so with all that in mind, with all the pain and distress that these two have both caused each other, it's a real shock to hear that they're now in a better place than ever before, including when they were married. On the most recent episode of 90 Day Diaries, we joined Danielle on a virtual spa night with her friends from Maryland. Ooh. It feels good to see my friends. We always pick up where we left off. So now we have our mask on, we're ready for girls spa night. How's Muhammad? Have you talked to him? I talked to him three days ago because I was reminding him about my graduation ceremony because he's coming to that. I have been studying. It will be 11 months to become a licensed practical nurse and I have invited Muhammad. Now, as impressive as that is to become a licensed practical nurse, the issue Danielle now faces is she needs to tell her kids that she's invited Muhammad to attend her graduation ceremony. Oh, he is coming? Yes. I have not told my kids yet, and I know there's probably a couple of them that might have some issue with it, but hopefully it will be okay. I mean, my kids are pretty understanding. And interestingly, Danielle's friends seem super encouraging of Mohammed. In fact, one of her friends compliments Mohammed for being such a good friend to Danielle. Mohammed is a true friend. Yes. He's a really nice, nice person who cares about you. Yeah, yeah. He keeps encouraging me all the time. We have actually become good friends and we do text and talk on a regular basis, um, maybe once, maybe twice a week. Now, you've got to assume that her friends know more than we do because to be so complimentary about Mohammed seems a little bit strange. Danielle does, however, reveal that her decision to forgive Mohammed is part of her own journey of healing. Forgiving Muhammad and becoming friends with him has helped me to restore my confidence. Um, I decided to start putting myself first. You just do the best you can and know that we're so proud of you. So with her friends' encouragement and support, we joined Danielle at a Halloween get-together with her four kids and her five grandchildren. I have been missing out on family functions. I've been super busy because of school. So having not seen her family in a while, she sits them all around a table and breaks the news to them that Mohammed will be attending her graduation ceremony. And as expected, it doesn't go down too well. My graduation is in about a month and Lexi's coming and then all you guys and there's a possibility that Muhammad might be coming. Hello. 
While Danielle somehow sees that reaction as being funny, her daughter Kylie questions why her mum has yet to move on from Mohammed. She asks her mum, why do you need to bring him to such an important event? Why haven't you just cut off all contact and forgotten about that guy? I mean, after everything, I feel like there's we've so all already moved on. There's no point in bringing him to a family event. And unfortunately for Danielle, Kylie isn't the only child to feel that way. In fact, they all do. I'm happy that you're graduating and stuff, but I don't want nothing to do with him. If he tries to talk to me, I don't know what I will do. Even if he apologizes, it's not going to change anything. So it'd just be awkward. I'd rather avoid it. Clearly understanding that none of them support her decision, Danielle tries to justify the fact that she's invited Mohammed by claiming that Mohammed has changed and explaining why it's so important for her to forgive him. I'm a person that wants to forgive people instead of having hate build up in my life because hate is just going to turn you into an angry person later on down the road. And ultimately, she argues, given that it's her big day and she's the one who studied for 11 months to pass these exams, it should be her choice who she invites. I'm being stuck in the middle because I want certain people there and I feel like that since this is my day and I've worked so hard that I should have everyone that I care about there just for one day. And that's how the episode ends. It's unclear whether Mohammed did indeed attend, but from everything we've just seen, it's very clear that Danielle still regards Mohammed as being an important part of her life. I just really hope for her sake, it really is just friendship and she doesn't still harbour feelings for him. What are your thoughts? Forgive and forget after all he's put her through or cut him off and move on with her life? Let's continue the conversation down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.